Today we are going to use the base 10 blocks again to represent multiplication, but this time we will be focusing on two digit by two digit multiplication. So I use the base 10 blocks in a very similar way, but with a few key differences. So the example problem I have is 16 times 13. What I am going to do first is represent 16 using the base 10 blocks here on the horizontal line. To represent 16, I need one block of 10. I'm going to move that over. And then I need six blocks of one. One, two, three, four, Five, six. Next, I'm going to represent 13, this time on the vertical line. And so I'm going to use my vertical 10 block to make sure that everything lines up well. So to represent 13, I need one block of 10. And then I need three blocks of one. One, two, Next, I'm going to move and resize the red rectangle to create an area model that is going to help us solve this problem. Because I have more blocks on my map today, I'm actually going to use a few more of the red rectangles. So I want to find first the rectangle that's created from the base and the height of the 10 blocks. So I put my red block and then I'm going to stretch it so that its base is 10 units and its height is also 10 units. So again, this rectangle is formed by the two 10 blocks. Now I want to create a rectangle that has a base that's formed by these horizontal one blocks and a height that's the same length as this 10 block. So I'm going to move the red rectangle and then pull on the corner so that I have a base that matches the one blocks and a height that matches the 10 blocks. I'm going to need another red rectangle and this time, I want it to have a height of three to match the ones. And I want it to have a base of 10 to match the 10 block. So I need to stretch this out this way. And I still need one more rectangle. So I'm going to move another red block. I want this to have a height of three so it matches the three ones here. And I want it to have a base of six that matches those ones there. I'm going to move this over a little bit more before I resize it. Okay, so now I have all the rectangles that are formed by all of the base 10 blocks. I'm going to find the area of each of the four rectangles. So this rectangle here has a base of 10, if I count this, there are 10 across, and a height of 10, if I count this, there are 10 across. 10 times 10 is 100 units squared, so I'm going to type that into the rectangle. This rectangle has a base of 6 and a height of 10, and 6 times 10 is 60, so this has an area of 60 units squared. Now this rectangle here has a base of 10 and a height of 3. 10 times 3 is 30. And I can actually confirm all my answers by counting inside the rectangle with the well, double check. And the last rectangle has a height of 3 and a base of 6. 